Okay, third campus in one day. Simple player number two is at an IED camp at Haverford College. And indeed, that's where I am, Haverford College. So I'm gonna walk around, check out the sites, get some pictures. Oh, and thanks for joining me on this episode of Fields of Dreams. Hope you're liking them. So yeah, I definitely put in the miles. I earn whatever hats I get. Um, okay. It's pretty interesting. Haverford. When you're when you drive in here, there's like one big loop of a for cars, and you really don't see much of campus because it's so wooded and I guess the way it's positioned. But then you come in here and you realize, holy smokes, there's a lot going on here. This is probably the end of. You see that flag? I think I've taken a few pictures. That's where all the athletic facilities are. I'm not sure what these. That looks like a dorm. Looks like it's another athletic complex and some academic buildings. So I'm gonna head that way. Again, try to get some pictures. And... So this looks like another green quad area or like the quad area. Buildings all around. Looks like that's some sort of chapel I'll go check out or something. It looks chapel-y. Um, not sure what denomination, if any, Haverford is. It's known as a quite liberal school, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's nothing. It's a computer room. All right. Even the playground is educated. It's got a statue, big faces, little faces. Okay, it's not a chapel. It is the library, which is equally good. Look at what I've found, rocking chair. Five Adirondack chairs, wood, looks like freshly stained. With this view, how about it, huh? Not too shabby. They will never know a couple are missing. Or maybe they'll notice the rocking chair, but. I admit, this is pretty cool, sitting here under the shade of a tree, massive tree, enjoying some downtime from walking around all day. Very sharp. This is pretty sizable. I don't know what that building is, but really cool looking. Um, and then this tree. You can't even get under it, it's fenced off. So this must have been around since the founding of it, of uh, Haverford College. And then another quad green area. I mean, this is surprisingly large. A lot going on here. I came from way over those trees over there. Um, and it's beautiful. Again, same feel the area that uh, Rosemont and Bryn Mawr had of just trees, large old growth trees that are all over. Wonderful. This is kind of the main entrance of campus. You come in and then this is Corsi Road. You make a left and that takes you out back to the athletic fields. This is Carp Field, I think, of all things, or Cape Field, I don't know. Not sure in there, it's like we're playing cricket. 
Germantown Cricket Club, maybe? And they're hanging out in the shade. Keep wandering. This is an athletic center of some sorts. They have a gym in there. And that building, quirky building right there, is an indoor track and looks like some basketball courts and whatnot. I can't get in. I think everything seems to be locked. I'm gonna try to head into this building where I think is maybe the student union. I don't know. Either that or I'll steal that golf cart. Okay, so this is the baseball field. Um, renowned for a player who may have won the 2016 and maybe the 14 Centennial Conference. Uh, Will Cart, catcher extraordinaire, just so happened to be my nephew. Um, it's right next to those are tennis courts over there. That turf field. Is Okay, this is a softball field. There's plenty of fields behind it. Um, I guess they are good. Regional champs in 2016. Um, baseball field. The Walton field is back over there. And there's another soccer training field back on that end, but softball field, regional champs in 16. Centennial Champs in 16. In a great little spot, great views. Nice class of 95 field, I guess is what it's called. You can see it. So behind all the fields, there's this big wide open space. There's a soccer field, or at least they made one down at that end, you can see. Kids on the camp are including simple player number two or warming up. And see if I can give you some perspective. I like the shade right about now. This is the baseball field on the far side of the tennis courts and then swan field. And then you can see the observatory. That's where the track, Johnson track and well field. So this is known as the Baseball House. How do I know this? Well, my nephew, Will, played baseball here and actually lived in here. And I am told that this is a house that will live in infamy during his time here. Um, probably the most important place here in his mind. Tennis courts, looks like there's 12 courts total. I think there's a tournament going on today.
So on this sweltering day, here I am at Walton Field, which is the home field for Haverford College Fords. Um, you can see it's a track. There's scoreboard right there. Um, I watched uh, Haverford play FNM here and recall that within 30 seconds uh, FNM scored on Haverford on a far post cross. Um, this is sort of the end of the campus where they have all their athletic facilities. So take a look down there. Cannerstein, Cannerstein, I can't read. Um, field, baseball, tennis courts. There's another new turf field, Swan Field, not sure what that is for. And then there's a grass field up there next to the observatory. The rest of campus is, uh, is behind me, so I'm going to be wandering around. All right, so I think that covers it for me today at Haverford of the mighty Fords. Um, uh, look, it's a, it's another great, obviously great academic school. I mean, it's beautiful. You don't realize it, like I said, sort of driving on the periphery of the main campus, but there's a ton of space. And inside in the middle, you're kind of like, wow, that's a lot of, a lot of school. Uh, bigger than I thought for whatever reason. Um, I am now going to head to watch simple player number two. I think he's about playing right now. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm done walking because this is like, it's like a hundred degrees out. And I think I've, seriously, you're watching this now, but I've done, this is my third campus in a day. So I walked... Um, Rosemont College, which is another episode, which isn't that large. And then I watched, I walked Bryn Mawr College, which was much bigger than I thought, and now Haverford. And so I'm pushing, I'm pushing. My legs are starting to feel it, and I think I'm just going to head back now and Try to enjoy watching number two play. So, hey, thanks for joining me. I hope you liked it. Look, if I could say anything about Walton Field, what a what a great place. I'm sure, atmosphere must be pretty intense. Um, it's a beautiful grass field. I don't know size-wise because you know it's on the inside of a track. Um, whether it's a little narrow, but I don't know. Usually they are the ones in the track, but um, but it's a it's a beautiful place. There's, like I said, for being in this area, you know, a lot of beautiful. Oh, my ear, but sorry. Um, it's a lot of space. It's beautiful out here. I mean, you can see why a lot of folks live out here outside of Philly and whatnot so okay thanks for joining me hope you could tune in to some of these you know, I'm hoping by the weekend I've done five six campuses and hope you can catch them all all right hope to see you soon on your campus later